Both chambers of the National Assembly on Tuesday agreed that a lion's share of 70% of the windfall profit levy imposed on banks should go to the federal government, leaving the banks with the remaining 30%. The National Assembly reached the sharing formula after it considered the report of its committee on finance. President Bola Tinubu had last week requested the National Assembly to amend the Finance Act that seeks to impose 50% windfall profit levy on all the foreign exchange transactions by banks in the country. While the federal government had proposed a 50-50 sharing formula, the lawmakers increased the share of the federal government to 70%. The Minister of Finance, Wale Edu, has in the last two days led the federal government economic team to defend the windfall profit levy, which he says is primarily aimed at redistributing the surplus gains earned by banks as a result of change in government's foreign exchange policy. This is a levy, a one-time one levy on the profits that were made in order to balance the benefits between the banks who happen to be in the right place at the right time and the society as a whole. So yes, it does contribute to the exchequer, it does contribute to government treasury, but that's not the main issue here. It is that uh, government has the responsibility to redress and redistribute a one-time gain of this kind. The governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, who was represented at the stakeholders meeting on Tuesday, supported the windfall profit levy, confirming that is earlier secular in March, asking banks not to tamper with the windfall profits subsist. Don't have any objection for now. Yeah. No. The National Assembly also imposed a 10% penalty on defaulters of the windfall profit levy, but still absent where the banks, and according to the Chairman of Federal Inland Revenue, Zach Adeleji, their silence on the matter can be taken as consent. The reason why you may not see them here today, it is a way of silent mean concept because they also, they are part of the international global uh, economic situation. And uh, they know that Nigeria has been magnanimous, I mean, Mr. President, even to propose what we propose. Because as you've uh, alluded to another climb, this is something that we call it proper win for, that they have no uh, impute whatsoever uh, from them to get. Meanwhile, the National Assembly approved additional sum of 6.2 trillion naira to fund the 2024 budget, raising the size of the budget from 28.7 trillion naira to 35.05 trillion naira. Additional amount required by way of this amendment. So what we are literally adding is just the 6.3 million we read last week. But once we trillion, sorry. So when you add the 6.3 to the current budget, it will give you the figures that we just announced now, just for record, so that people will not say we have uh, a new supplementary of 35 trillion. It still remain the 6.3 trillion amendment that uh, we read last week. The breakdown shows that 3.2 trillion naira out of the 6.2 trillion is allocated for capital expenditure, while the sum of 3 trillion is for recurrent expenditure. We have passed 6.2 trillion by Mr. President, budget of renewed hope. 3.2 trillion capital, while about 3 trillion will go to recurrent. And as I said last time, this is very important and critical road infrastructures that Mr. President want to actualize. You know, they have covered about 21 states. One section with um, Lagos Calabar, as you are all aware, it covered about nine states. The National Assembly says the additional 6.2 trillion is to be funded from the one-time windfall profit levy on all foreign exchange transactions by banks in the country. The windfall profit levy is to take effect from January 2024, with the National Assembly carefully avoiding making a retroactive law. Omo Bazwai, Rise News.